Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Divers Weekly Product Showcase. We decided that after DEMA this year we had some great products but people a lot of times don't understand what the product does or they would like to see the product uh, advertised and demonstrated and logistically sometimes that's not the best thing or uh, easily available to do uh, due to uh, distance restraints and time restraints and whatnot. So we decided to put together small videos, short videos, showcasing one of our products. We're going to try to do this weekly, and hopefully uh, we can keep that up and show you some great products that you might be interested in as a scuba diver. This week, we are showcasing the Nautilus Lifeline GPS VHF radio for divers. Uh, we were able to pick up five units this year at DEMA, so we have them in stock, available to ship. Be a great Christmas gift for any uh, experienced diver or new diver and we're going to go ahead and show you exactly what this this thing does so this is what you get this is the box it comes in uh, pretty sturdy box there uh, Nautilus Lifeline is great for any diver especially experienced divers that are doing more advanced stuff out in the ocean but even for new divers it's a great great product so when you open a box this is what's in there this is the Nautilus Lifeline unit itself and we're going to go over that in a second and then what else you have in the box is the accessories which is a USB cord just a standard uh, regular USB to a micro USB and then an extra cover for the USB port on the radio itself as well as some instructions in here on how to activate the radio and register it we'll put all that back in here okay back to the radio itself the Nautilus Lifeline is a great safety net for divers that are diving in the ocean or even in a, a large lake, large waterway. And basically, it's a VHF radio, uh, VHF being very high frequency, and it's on the, the channels that are programmed and allocated by the FCC specifically for uh, maritime use, so on the marine and boat slash um, waterways and what we have here is, is a lid the antenna this is the distress button which is covered up so that it's not accidentally activated and you have LCD screen on the front clip hard uh, a very uh, heavy duty clip on the back here along with serial number and whatnot this clip here I'll show you that the antenna stows into here when the unit is closed, there's an O-ring around here. You want to expect, inspect the O-ring orifice before you go ahead and put it on. And the clips clips down. Now, as you can see, if you were to stick this in a pocket, it might be easily opened underwater, which we don't want to do. So they've included a hole here for a very small, like a wrap or zip tie, or even just a, a small knot that you could easily break if you needed to. The unit itself is waterproof up to 425 feet. Or 130 meters has an eight mile range so if you think about it you have the radio here in the center and then eight miles so it would be a 16 mile diameter that you'd be able to transmit in the lifeline itself once you get it works right out of the package uh, it's charged it doesn't have to be charged although you might want to put a good charge on it um, but you're going to open it up antennas right there this is your micro USB port and this doubles as the charging port as well as you're able to download the GPS coordinates that you've been to once it's turned on and say you go out in the water and you turn it on um, it'll track your GPS coordinates at timed intervals and you can download all those coordinates and view it on a map it's, it's a pretty neat little feature so once you open it up to turn it on you basically press any button we don't want to press the distress button at all unless we're actually in distress in an emergency so you can turn on the unit by pressing a button once it comes on it's going to display your MMSI ID. okay so I mentioned when I when we turned the unit on that it listed your serial number and then the MMSI number and MMSI stands for Maritime Mobile Service Identity and basically what that is is more or less a serial number for you yourself the owner of this radio so if you have a boat you go out you buy this radio that hooks up to your GPS it has this distress mode and so that people don't abuse this and use the resources like the Coast Guard when they're not needed 
Uh, it's more or less of a tracking way that they can uh, keep people accountable for pushing that button and using that service. So you go online and you register online, putting in all your information. And Lifeline actually tells you exactly how to do this. Nautilus does, rather. You go to Nautilus's website and they'll step by step show you how to do this. You go online, you register for this number, you'll be emailed a, a specific number, and that is specific to the owner of this radio. So this button, the distress button, will not work on this radio until you program that MMSI number on there, Maritime Mobile Safety Identity Number. Service Identity, I'm sorry, Maritime Mobile Service Identity Number. Once you get your number, it only takes a matter of a couple minutes online, they'll give you your number, you go and you plug it into your computer, the software's uh, Mac and Windows compatible, Windows 7 and uh, the newest Mac, it worked on my Mac just fine. So you, pro, you, you load the program in there, you connect it to the USB port, it's going to pull it up. You have a spot, a field to put in your Maritime Mobile Service Identity Number. You plug it in there, it flashes it to this. This radio is now associated with your name and that ID number. Once you have that ID number in there and programmed to the radio, this button is then active. And if I were to press this right now, if you see the satellites have locked on, if I were to press this right now, it would start transmitting my GPS coordinates, my maritime mobile service identity number, as well as a distress signal. So anybody with a mar uh, maritime radio, a mobile ra radio, or even base stations, so boats, base stations, people with these, anybody that has that is going to start hearing that distress signal. The newer mobile and VHF handheld units that are coming out for the maritime service all hook into GPS's and a lot of your boats, a lot of your charters now have that on on board. It's a, it's a great feature. So what happens with them, the ones that have the GPS's locked in with their radios, they're going to actually see on the screen, the GPS screen, exactly your position. I mean up to a couple feet away. So if you think about it, it's a great, great option. Short of an EPIRB, this is just phenomenal for divers out in the open. Now some of the instances where you might have to use the chat button, let's say that you are going for a week of diving on the Spiegel Grove and you know you're going to be with this dive charter for the entire week, well you could set up ahead of time and say look let's, let's set 68 as being our chat channel if I happen to come up away from the boat I'll call you, you can come get me. Okay, So that would be an instance where you would use the chat button. The next button over here is the orange button is uh, the transmit on channel 16. Channel 16 for maritime is a hail channel. It's where the Coast Guard listens consistently, constantly. Almost all boats that are out in the waterway, they listen to 16. So if you wanted to call somebody, you'd call them on 16 and tell them to switch channels because it's more of a hailing frequency. It's a that's where you would call as a distress. And that's where the emergency button transmits if you press it, is on channel 16 because everybody listens to it. So you let's say that you didn't set up a channel with the dive boat operator and you're just going out for one or two dives, you come up away from the boat, you try to call them on 68 and they can't, they're not answering, well you could call them on 16, they're more or less going to definitely be listening to 16. So you could call them on here and tell them, hey, I'm away from the boat, uh, come pick me up. Okay. Now the next thing, the distress button, once this is activated and pushed, it transmits on channel 16. It's going to transmit your GPS coordinates, your maritime mobile uh, safety or service identity number, uh, that you're in distress, and it's going to continuously do that for the next 24 hours unless the radio is turned off or, or it's deactivated, okay? That's why it's covered up so it's not accidentally done. Also, for 24 hours, once you hit that distress button and it activates, there's a strobe in the back here. You see this case is kind of clear here? That's the reason for that is because there's a strobe that will consistently strobe. So if we came off at night or you happen to be in the water till nighttime, that strobe will help attract help to you, okay? Um, that's pretty much the radio in a nutshell. It's an eight, eight mile range. Um, it, it's a great feature for somebody to have. It's a safety net that you can take along with you a little bit better than a signal tube. Um, that, that being said, it doesn't replace a signal tube. You would obviously want to take yourself a, a surface marker bill or signal tube along just in case. That's the best way to get a hold of a dive boat is visually. Uh, and we don't want to activate that unless you're in true, true emergency. In other words, you came up, you don't see the boat any way around you, you've tried to call them on 16 a couple times, nobody's answering you, and then you would signal, you would turn the uh, distress button uh, on. We can help you set up any of these options. If you uh, you purchase your radio from us, we'll be more than happy to help you set up those options. Uh, there's another feature that 
Nautilus is not a feature, more or less a product. Nautilus came up with uh, for the radio. If you don't want to just stow it in your pocket, which there's, I mean, you could put a clip on here and you stow it in your pocket. They have this really cool pouch um, for like $29. You can get this pouch where you could put the radio in, stow it. There's actually a spot here that you could go ahead and clip the radio off so it won't come free of the pouch by itself. And then once you get it in the pouch, you can clip it off here. There's a couple ways you can stow it onto a, a belt. There's even a lanyard here so that it can't come off accidentally. Nice little pouch, and that's a pretty heavy-duty little pouch there to keep it stowed away and keep your investment secure. Um, we have them in stock. They're a great, great Christmas gift for any diver on your list. Um, gives you gives them a little bit of a safety net. And... Um, any diver would be very appreciative of it, I pay that much. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, 443-295-3225, or southernmarylanddivers.com. You can email us at info at southernmarylanddivers.com, that's all spelled out. Uh, you can email us at that and ask for information, we'll send you a pamphlet. That's got all the description of what the radio does. This one doesn't have the new color schemes updated yet, and it's got a little bit different uh, setup, but we have new ones coming and all the features. Be happy to snail mail you some of this stuff if you want. We have digital copies as well, and uh, we can showcase it if you want to stop in the shop and check it out. All right, till next week, we'll see you later.